tell you, windy or not, the warm flow is sticking with us, and we're going to start to warm things up even better over the course of the next few days as high pressure sticks around for a good portion of next week, which should bring our temperatures up, not just teasing the 90s, actually getting into the 90s. Won't that be interesting? Nice to see, especially as we get closer to Halloween. But looking down with our uh, regional sat rad, looking down to the south, everything looks fairly dry. It doesn't look like much is coming in, and nothing really will. It's those uh, descending winds that we've been watching, mainly through San Diego County, areas outside the valley, and that's why those areas tend to be a little warmer today. And it's just phenomenal to see 80s and middle 80s, let's say, in uh, San Diego, as opposed to lower 80s here across the valley. The bigger issues are with Sandy. Oh, it will be a pain right now, just kind of pulling out of the Bahamas. But uh, by early next week, widespread power outages, damage, flooding. Oh yeah, now why is this such a big deal? Well, because it's going to really drag in a lot of that warm, moist air and collide uh, with uh, some of the colder air and just the combination of getting this pulled on shore with winds is very strong, with a strong storm surge, and we're talking about heavy rain and snow. This could be some major damage through early next week. Tuesday is when it looks like has the best chance to be pulled inland. So it's becoming quite uh, an impressive storm at that point. That's when we'll be watching even closer. So Desert Hot Springs, middle 80s tomorrow. Uh, middle 70s through the pass. Go out and enjoy that. And uh, near 90 and 1,000 Palms, Morongo Valley, middle 80s. I'm seeing 90s across the valley out to the Salton Sea. So tomorrow will be a warmer day. Get used to it. These 90s are sticking around a little bit longer. How about a couple days worth? We'll say upper 80s tomorrow for Palm Springs. We might still see some wind lingering. Don't let that uh, worry you because it'll dry up and just calm down. And by the end of the weekend, early next week, nice mild conditions through Halloween. All right, Gina Elizabeth. Thank you, Brian. Today's air quality index, according to airnow.gov, reached a level of 49. That is in the good range. Tomorrow's index expected to be the very same.